What's going on? What's going on? Hola, hola, hola. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy Monday. Happy Monday out there to everybody in Facebook land. It's your boy Said coming to you live here from Tampa. Super duper shout out to my network marketing buddies and pals, my affiliate marketing buddies and pals, and my regular networkers. I want to pop in here really quickly for a value Facebook live that uh, I think a lot of people truly need to hear based upon a lot of things that are happening inside of the marketing world, specifically within Facebook. So this is gonna be a really, really important message, especially if you're inside the network marketing world uh, and or the affiliate marketing world. This is something that's gonna affect a lot of people, so pay close attention. Do me a favor though, if you're popping on here live, if you're popping on here live, drop me a one. I see some people are already doing that, people that are uh, faithful listeners of mine. I appreciate that. So if you're here live, drop me a one. If you're here on the recording, drop me a two. And if you're here for the very first time, drop me a three to let me know that you're here for the first time so I can kick somebody y'all playing Mafia Wars or Farm Deal and make some room for a fellow entrepreneur. Right now, um, I'm in Tampa and it's like pouring down raining. It is pouring down raining right now. So uh, let me see if I can not adjust this volume here. Can you guys hear me okay? I want to make sure you guys can hear me okay because it is raining super hard can you guys hear me okay let me know if you can hear me okay and then i will proceed what's going on jasmine hey mervetta what's up val jazzy fizzle for shizzle is in the house hey connie who else is rocking and rolling with me jenny's in the house stefan's in the house hey erica good to see you as well william is in the house let's see here dave is in the house what's going on hey curtis quite a few people hey loran alfonso what's up my brother Dylan, I guess you guys can hear me, so I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Hey, Feli, what's up, Rockstar? So, simple question, simple question to everybody out there right now. Right now, there's a lot of changes going on inside of Facebook, right? There's a significant amount of changes that are going on inside of Facebook. And I've learned as a marketer that when you start to see certain changes happening, one of the things that you want to do is get ahead of the curve. You want to get ahead of the curve. So, Case in point, case in point, I don't know if you have all have noticed or not, but the algorithm is changing to a point that a lot of people aren't seeing your posts like they used to. Have you noticed? A lot of people aren't seeing your videos like they used to. Have you noticed? And there's a lot of changes, and one of the cool things that you can do is stay up to speed on the Facebook terms and conditions, especially if you're a network marketer, because it's affecting a lot of things that you do. So you definitely wanna make sure that you're commenting on videos, that you're commenting on posts, that you're replying back to different people when they're commenting on a video or commenting on a post or inside of your inbox or whatever the case may be because the algorithm sees all of that and they're making sure that they're putting your content in front of the people that actually wanna see it, okay? If the people don't want to really truly see it based upon the fact that you're not replying back to them or they're not commenting or whatever the case may be, they're not going to show your post and or your videos in front of those people as much. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Now, I posed the question. I posed a question that could hurt a lot of people's feelings and it could be extremely expensive to a significant amount of people. And the question is really simple. Okay. If you lost your Facebook account right now, if you're a network marketer and you lost your Facebook account right now, how does that affect your business? How does it affect your business? If you lost your Facebook account right now, how would it affect your business? So I know a lot of people that are on here right now that they do a significant amount of curiosity posts or you do a lot of uh, before and after pictures or you do a, signif a significant amount of videos or whatever the case may be and you're seeing the engagement and all that good stuff and maybe you're putting up the type of post that people are loving. Maybe you're putting up the type of videos that people are loving and you're seeing so many comments and so much engagement that are, that's actually going on within those posts and or those videos. However, if you woke up one day and it was all gone, if you woke up one day and Facebook put you in jail, and we all know that there's no bail bondsman that can bond you out of Facebook jail. Like people have gone to jail for murder, 
People have gone to jail for drugs. People have gone to jail for some crazy stuff and they were able to get out of jail via a bail bondsman. However, there is no bail bondsman on planet earth that can get you out of Facebook jail. Keep that in mind. So if you got into Facebook jail, how would that affect your business? Or if your whole account got shut down. So I spoke a little bit about this last week. But I want to take it back to 2008, 2009, when Google was really, really hot for network marketers, where we could literally put a significant amount of ads up there, you know, and, and I was spending six figures a year on just Google pay-per-click. I had friends that were spending seven figures a year on Google pay-per-click. And then one day, Google woke up and said, no more, and slapped everybody. They didn't care if you were spending 50000 a month, 100000 a month, 2000 a month, 500 a month. They woke up one morning and slapped every network marketer and killed their accounts. Just killed their accounts. Now, there were so many people that were legitimately out of business when that happened. They were legitimately out of business when that happened. Now, I wanna forewarn a lot of people right now, I wanna forewarn a lot of people right now that there's some things that are coming down the pike and you wanna be ahead of the game. So I feel like that there's two things there's two things that, as network marketers, that we should all focus on inside of our business majority of the time. Two things, that two things that we should be focused on majority of the time. Number one is personal development. Personal development, becoming the best version of yourself. Now we all know that network marketing is simply personal development with a product attached to it. That's all it is. It's personal development with a product attached to it. So you wanna focus on becoming the best version of yourself. You wanna make sure that you're listening to the right CDs, you're listening to the right podcasts, you're reading the right books, you're becoming the best version of you and you're becoming the leader that you really truly want to attract. Because a lot of us wanna attract a lot of people to our business. We wanna attract six figure earners, we wanna attract seven figure earners, we want to attract people that are really going to build the business, but we aren't as attractive ourselves because we haven't built ourselves. We haven't put the value in ourselves. okay? So we've got to feel that well and make sure that you're focused on that personal development. Number two, you have to focus on marketing. You have to focus on marketing. Marketing is so, so important, ladies and gentlemen. It is so, so important. You have to get your marketing game down, period, end of story. Now, we think about network marketing. We think about network marketing. And the key word where, I'm, where I come from is marketing. It's marketing. Now, when you have a network, can you explode a network marketing business? Absolutely, if you have a network and you are influential and maybe you're influential in your neighborhood, maybe you're influential with your school or your college or your peers or where you grew up at or whatever the case may be. On the same token though, you can take a marketer and stick a marketer in the middle of Idaho and they can have a thousand people on their team and they don't know anybody because they're sitting in the middle of a potato field because they know how to market. So if we think about Facebook, and we're only spending all of our time on Facebook, I'm gonna advise everyone. I'm gonna advise everyone ahead of time, and you can feel free to come back to this video six months from now, nine months from now, or a year from now, right? And you're gonna see it with your own eyes. I truly, truly advise that everybody, make sure that you have a minimum, a minimum of three marketing techniques under your belt. A minimum of three marketing techniques under your belt outside of Facebook outside of Facebook. At least three marketing techniques that you have under your belt that you can get consistent traffic from, that you could be meeting new people, whether it be online and or offline, outside of Facebook. Now, if for whatever reason, if for whatever reason you're thinking right now, well, what are those marketing avenues, said? Well, I don't know. You got LinkedIn. The average person on LinkedIn makes six figures a year. Do you? Do you realize how big of a pool LinkedIn is? Like so many people aren't paying attention to LinkedIn, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. The average person on LinkedIn makes six figures. You can create a free account with LinkedIn. It doesn't cost you a dime and you could be networking with six and seven figure people on LinkedIn, creating new relationships and meeting some really, really cool people just like you do on 
Facebook. Now, are you doing videos and all that good stuff on LinkedIn? No, but it's a place to network. That's the place. That's that's the online place to network. So you've got LinkedIn, you've got Instagram, which obviously is owned by Facebook, but a lot of things are happening with Instagram stories right now. So you see a lot of things happening with Instagram stories. You see a lot of things happening with IGTV. Okay, another place that a lot of people are gravitating toward right now. So you've got LinkedIn, you've got Instagram, you got YouTubes, you got YouTube, I say YouTubes, <laughs> you got YouTube, okay, so when you think about YouTube, it could be whether or not, it could be whether you are creating a video on YouTube, or you created a 10 second commercial, or a 20 second commercial, or a 30 second commercial that came in front of a video, or came in the middle of a video. You see them all the time, and those specific commercials are keyword specific. So. If you're looking up network marketing lead generation, for an example, you're looking up network marketing lead generation on 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 uh, YouTube, and you know you see somebody's video. Well, right before that video might start, you might see another video from Russell Brunson. You might see another video from Billy Jean. You might see another video from you know uh, Ryan Dice. You might see another video from a key marketer that understands that specific keyword that you targeted and now that particular video is showing up in front of that YouTube video, okay? So you got YouTube, you got Instagram, you got IG you know, stories, you got, uh, 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 what else did I say? You got LinkedIn, okay? You can run ads on Snapchat. A lot of people didn't know that. A lot of people had no clue that you can run ads on Snapchat, okay? So a lot of you are targeting uh, the younger generation inside of your business, right? And a lot of the younger generation is on Snapchat. Now, a lot of these avenues that I might tell you, some people might look at them and say, well, say it, I'm not in that particular area. Like, I'm not marketing in that particular area. I don't know anything about that. You didn't know anything about Facebook until you started learning it. You didn't know how to drive a stick shift until somebody taught you how to learn it, taught you, I taught you how to drive it. You didn't know how to walk until your mother, you know, kept holding your hands. You didn't know how to ride a bike until somebody took the training wheels off. So at the end of the day, you need to learn these techniques. So if you think about Snapchat, oh my goodness, you can run ads on Snapchat, right? You've got ringless voicemail, okay? Ringless voicemail, another crazy technique. Like how many of you guys are getting, you know, voicemails from people and you had no idea how they got that information, right? Ringless voicemail, your phone never rang, but when you check the voicemail, there's a marketing message, okay? Some of you are like, well, sad, you know, I don't respond to that stuff. Don't worry about what you don't respond to. In the words of my mother, at some point a blind squirrel will find a nut. At some point a blind squirrel will find a nut. So if you send out a ringless voicemail to 10,000 people, right? Well, for some of y'all that, that can't think that big for whatever reason, let's say you sent the ringless voicemail out to 1,000 people and 900 of them ignored your message. There's 100 people that listen to your message. Let's say out of the 100 people that listen to your message, only 10 of them paid attention to it. Okay, those are 10 leads that you had outside of Facebook. Remember, I said focus on at least three marketing techniques outside of Facebook. That means that you've got four under your belt. That means you've got four under your belt. So if you focus on three marketing techniques outside of Facebook, and you've got Facebook plus that one, you've got four under your belt. So if you entered Facebook jail where there's no bail bondsman, or if you woke up one day and your Facebook account got hacked or it got shut down, you're not turning into a turtle. I know people right now, I know people right now that if, if they lost their Facebook account, they're out of business. They wouldn't know what to do. They would be scoundering, right? They would literally be scoundering like a squirrel that doesn't know which side of the street to go on. You ever drive through a neighborhood and that squirrel is just sitting there like doesn't want to make a decision? Should I go in front of the car? Should I not go in front of the car? Should I go in front of the car? Should I not go in front of the car? Like there's people that are going to be hanging out like that if their accounts got shut down. And you've got to think like, well, hold on for a second. That's a great possibility. Well, these algorithms are changing like crazy. And even if you never lost your account, even if you never lost your account, it should be a personal focus of yours to understand that personal development and marketing are two things that you should be you should be spending the majority of your time on. Because if you don't have fresh leads coming to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you have fresh conversations coming to you, you're out of business. 
It's almost like a lot of people tend to think that there's new objections. There's never any new objections. It's just new people. The objections are the same. The objections are the same. So once you got your objections dialed in, but you've got a lot of new people coming in, you know that there's only a handful of things that they can say, okay? But if you're only talking to one person a day, two people a day, or two or three or five people a week, you're out of business. You're literally out of business. A lot of people still still uh, forget Craigslist is like a fishing hole. Like there's a, there's a way that you can market on Craigslist to get a lot of qualified leads, but you gotta know what you're doing. You legitimately have to know what you're doing and you've got to be in the correct sections so you do not get your Craigslist account shut down. I know a way how to not get your Craigslist account shut down, how to not get your credit card ghosted on Craigslist because uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember if your credit card gets ghosted on Craigslist, you can never, ever, ever use that credit card ever again. So let me drop you a, a quick nugget here really quickly. For some of you that are on Craigslist, for an example, I want you to go and get an app called Token. Go get an app called Token, T-O-K-E-N. Get an app called Token, okay? If you're running ads on Craigslist or you wanna run an ad on Craigslist, get an app called Token, it's a free app, okay? It's a free app. What Token does is it takes your credit card number, it takes your credit card number and it changes the number and gives you a new credit card, okay? It changes the number and gives you a new credit card. Alrighty, so you put in your regular Visa, into token and it spits out a different credit card number that is attached to that credit card. So let's say that you're running an ad on Craigslist for an example and that ad got approved and it hung out for four or five days and then all of a sudden it got flagged. If it got flagged with your regular credit card, done. You can't use that credit card ever again. If it got flagged with that new, with that token credit card that you have, okay, when the ad gets flagged, Craigslist gives you your money back. <laughs> a lot of people didn't know that that ad could be up for three or four or five days craigslist will give you your money back if that ad gets flagged so let's say that that ad is up for four or five days and then all of a sudden that ad gets flagged right now the ad is flagged uh craigslist just gave you your money back now that they give you your money back what you do is you go right into your token app and you spit out a different credit card number and you run the same ad all over again and last time I checked, uh, looks like you got that ad for free because you just got a refund. You see, you got to know this type of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. You got to know this stuff. That's a, I, I hope somebody took that nugget that is that is playing on Craigslist or that wants to play on Craigslist. And I'm not sitting here endorsing Craigslist saying, oh, my goodness, spend all your time on Craigslist. No, because I told you Craigslist, LinkedIn, Instagram, ringless voicemail, uh, Instagram stories, Instagram ads, uh, Snapchat ads. And that's just a handful. That's just a handful. I'm not going to spend 45 minutes giving you 30 different ways to market. All I'm going to tell you is this. Get at least three. Whatever's comfortable with you. Oh, I want to I wanna send, I want to create a blog. Great, create a blog. I want to I wanna do email marketing. Great, buy some solo ads. I want to do text message marketing. Great. Get you a text message app that can blast a thousand people a day. There's numerous ones out there. So the reality is all I'm telling you, what's going on, Big Chris? All I'm telling you, good to see you, man. All I'm telling you, all I'm telling each and every person that's on here, get at least three traffic techniques, three marketing techniques outside of Facebook. Because yes, you can have a significant amount of engagement on Facebook. Yes, what's going on, Jesse Lee? What's happening, Rockstar? You can have a significant amount of engagement on Facebook. You can have a significant amount of likes and comments and shares. But don't wake up one day and if Facebook says they don't like you or you've created some enemies that you didn't know about that are indirectly like reporting content that isn't wrong, Okay, like there's haters out there that do stupid stuff like that. Like it's crazy, but that's the world that we live in. In the words of Biggie, more money, more problems. You create haterade. People are drinking haterade all day, every day for no reason. So you have to position yourself in a way that if one technique goes down, you're not you're not out of business. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're out of business, where Mark Zuckerberg owns your life. It's bad enough he owns all the content that you have on Facebook as well as the stuff that you deleted that you thought nobody saw. Okay, nobody else saw it, 
but they still got it. And for some of y'all that keep doing some of this crazy stuff on videos, listen, always remember, not only does Facebook have your content, but the government does too. <laughs> not only does Facebook have your content, but the government does too. So be careful with some of the crazy stuff that you do on video and then wonder why the feds are knocking at your door or they're just creating a file because the feds don't show up unless they got you. There's a reason why they got a 98% success rate. And when you're on video, you're playing in a federal environment. <laughs> you're not playing in your state environment. You're playing in a federal environment. Now that is a whole nother video in itself. So with that being said, I got to run. I got an appointment and it looks like the, the rain has slowed down. So it's time for me to get it going. So with that being said, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for popping on this live. I hope you got some value from this live. If you got some value from this live, do me a favor, hit the share button, AKA the love button, or let me know below. Thanks, Ed. I got some value from it. And just listen, one of the ways that my mentor always told me a long time ago, the best way to, to know that your mentor has helped you with something is that you apply what he or she says. Don't just take these videos and just listen to them for entertainment. I can entertain you. Like I can sit here and, you know, become Cedric the Entertainer and crack jokes and all that good stuff. I mean, I can do that if I want to do that. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to give you some value, right? So you can go out there and apply this information no matter what business that you're building inside of network marketing and or affiliate marketing. So with that being said, God bless you all. Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the comments, the emojis, and all that good stuff. What's going on, Jason? Good to see you, brother. I appreciate each and every one of you popping on here. Now, go out there and make somebody smile today. You know why? Because they deserve it and so do you. Until the next time, talk to you all soon. Peace.